Hey, what's up guys? Bajiri here. So you guys know how I like to make my physique updates for my bodybuilding progress. Well, I thought you guys might be interested in a gear update for my WoW character. So, um, the first week of BFA was a lot of fun. Um, so far, the expansion has been a blast. I've been enjoying Arms and Fury quite a bit. I think that, just to have a quick answer to the very common question, I think that Fury is fun in PvE. I think that Arms is also good in PvE, but probably a little bit more of a dominant choice for PvP, which really isn't a departure from how it always has been, but basically you guys play what you want. We can make a Fury vs. Arms video in the future, but that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Um, and in terms of my gear, we definitely had a lot of fun playing the first week, but we also were really busy with IRL stuff. I've been continuing on the gains grind as well. We're, you know, 13 days out as of right now from my second physique competition of the year, and we got to hang out with some family. So that was all good, all really fun stuff. But that does mean that we weren't just completely on the grind the entire time. So I feel like my gear is a little bit behind. Uh, but we'll catch up. We got plenty of time. And I just wanted to let you guys know where we're at right now because it's not too bad. All right, here we go. Let's start off with the helm. My helm is the Helm of Abyssal Malevolence, which I believe came from some sort of dungeon. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> but we ran all the heroics. And this was just a good old heroic piece. My... Um, Heart of Azeroth is currently at level 13, which could be bumped up quite a bit, but we'll get there. Like I said, we get we have some catching up to do, but uh, all in all, we finished an awesome week of, of gains, of sponsored work on the stream, and uh, hanging out with family, so we'll have a little bit more time to grind now. But we did get some Lockjaw shoulder plays, which are pretty nice. Uh, can't use uh, the, the Azerite powers yet, but uh, it is looking pretty good. I guess we can show you what we're working with in terms of Azerite power. We'll make a video going over all this stuff too, but right now I'm rocking the Overpower one for this one. That's all I've got right there. This one has the Bladestorm talent as its main one. And it's got some cool stuff on the other side of things too. A little bit of, little bit of, of Mastery Leech or you could do some of this stuff too. We'll go over all that later. Uh, my cloak is a Heroic Warforged cloak, so definitely going to be rocking a lot of Heroic gear still. This is like, like I said, we haven't been on the, the Mythic grind quite as heavy. But we'll get there. I think this week will be a fun week. We'll run the mythics. We'll get my rep up. We'll do the extra mythics. It'll be it'll be good. Um, we've got some Stone Fury Vembrises, which uh, do have a, a gem slot in there too, which is pretty cool. In terms of my stat stacking, I still think that haste is like really really good. I still think crit is really really good. I end up having a lot of mastery just because that's just how the gear that I've gotten has gone. But I still think that haste and crit are really really good. I think haste is like since it's so low, getting a lot of it is going to be really helpful. So watch out for haste gear. Uh, I did at least get a heroic weapon, the Electro Arm Bludgeoner. It's like the only weapon I've seen drop. <laughs> so, um, and that speaking of weapons, I'll, I'll tell you guys what happened to Mythic. But uh, we have the heroic um, gloves as well as some haste first, which is nice. But so I have two pieces. Uh, th the boss that drops this can drop a weapon, and the boss that drops this can drop a weapon. So I got loot from the boss, but the boss decided to give me kind of the not weapon piece that it can drop. So that was kind of disappointing, but. Either way, we got some Mythic gear, which is pretty cool. This is a nice 340 belt. Versatility Mastery, not the best stats, but like I said, you know, my, my gearing process is probably going to be slow. Slow and painful, but that's okay. We at least got some, the mythic, some mythic gear. As long as we get the, the 340 in that slot, I mean, that's, I'm happy for, with that for now. But we also got some really juicy legs. 345 uh, Warforge on these legs. Crit Mastery. Crit is a pretty good stat, so I'm happy with that. Uh, and the, obviously the item level is beast mode. Speaking of beast mode, item level, check this out. 350 Warforge with a socket. So I got to put extra crit in there. I probably could put extra haste. I think that somebody just gave me crit gems, so I slapped them in there, which is fine by me. But I think w ideally I might go for haste in those gem slots, but I'm not a huge deal either way. I uh, got a ring, a haste mastery ring, which is another one of those things. Like I said, this, this is from the boss that could drop a, a, this weapon. He decided me to drop the ring instead, which is like whatever. But uh, I'll take it. And we also got one of these bad boys. Big old crit on this thing. A little bit of mastery as well. Like I said, I have a lot of mastery and a decent amount of crit. Um, and we also have this bad boy, which I don't love these trinkets. Like the, the, the trinkets in the dungeons are not that great. But I think I'm using it for the item level and just for the raw strength that it gives me. Um, the on use is not very strong, but the strength is nice. Same thing with this. Uh, this could be way better too. The only other heroic trinket I have, the reason why it says my item level could be 330 is because I have another one of these thingies. So that was my other heroic trinket. Uh, but I'm just, I'm just rocking this right now. But the goal for uh, this week is probably just to continue to grind it out. Really knock out the mythics. We pretty much knocked out as many mythics as I could. I think there, there was like a, maybe one or two that I could have still done. Um, no, maybe it's only one. I think we only... Maybe. 
I think it was only like one or two that we could have done that we didn't do. Because uh, I didn't have the rep for King's Rest or Borlas yet. So we'll get to those this week. And we'll finish out, hopefully, a nice get a, a couple of nice more drops to, to get this gear and this item level up a little bit. But I think that um, a, fir a, a huge push in the first week for, by a lot of people will probably mean a lot less gear the second week. So I, I think I'll have a chance to catch up a little bit. Um, but even then, it was not that big of a deal. We got a couple weeks to, to grind that loot. And just to have fun with BFA, and uh, also continue to stay on the grind with our uh, with our games and gains IRL. Man, we got we got some exciting times coming up, dudes. This is this has been a big a big month for us, and building into another big month next month. But uh, all in all, things are going well. BFA has been a blast. Lots of new videos planned for you guys. Lots of guides, lots of tips, videos, things like that. Uh, but for right now, I just wanted to give you guys a look at my gear, and uh, go from there. And just to answer another question that I see a lot. Is this add-on right here as unit frames improved? This add-on right here is threat plates. <laughs> Hopefully that answers a lot of the most common questions that I see just to get things started. And we'll see you guys out in the gym this morning to start our day off strong with some gains. See you out there. Thanks for watching and peace.